In this short video, we'll look at how Exonius customers are able to identify assets impacted by the critical open SSL vulnerability. Here you can see on the Exonius blog, a post that talks about what this critical vulnerability is. Long story short, on November 1st, there will be an update to open SSL to fix a critical CVE. Here you can read the details. I don't need to read you the blog post, but let's look at how Exonius customers are able to find all of those assets that are impacted. You can see in the blog post, we've listed out the queries in Exonius, but let's actually look at it. So here we can find by open SSL version. So let's just grab this here. I can go right into Exonius and I can paste it here. And when I run the query wizard, we can see we have three devices here that are impacted by this version of OpenSSL. So let's actually look at this device. I can look at all the installed software. And here I can see this is the device. It is running OpenSSL. We can see here is the version. So that's by OpenSSL version. When the CVE ID is released, we'll be able to see it as well. But for now, I'll show you what we can do. We can just go to run a query. And here, let's just say it's CVE, whatever that is. Change the X's here to that version. And great. So we will just replace the CVE ID with the CVE ID when it comes out for the SSL vulnerability. And we'll just say, you know, here is the CVE ID. We'll say search. And now we can see the devices that have that CVE ID here. Now, customers of Exonius also have this right here. So we have created a predefined dashboard in Exonius for customers to be able to see that devices that are exposed to the vulnerability. Uh, we can then see by OS type and distribution. We can see devices exposed last 30 days, devices exposed to the CV, and um, we can see the endpoint protection coverage and vulnerability assessment coverage. So really what we're doing here is we're honing in on not only those devices that are impacted by the CV that have um, the open SSL version running, but what we can also do is say, Let's say we've got 30,000 of these. Well, show me the ones first that are missing endpoint protection. I also want to see those ones that have the CVE, but also aren't being scanned by a vulnerability assessment tool. So depending on your tool set and coverage by security controls, you can then not only just see where that software is installed, you can also understand what is the most critical um, and which are the devices that you really want to address first. Another thing that customers can do is not only just identify those devices, but they can also create alerts and decide what to do with the Exonius Enforcement Center. So based on whatever you want to do, once you find an asset that is impacted by this critical vulnerability in OpenSSL, you can decide to notify asset owners. Um, you can open a support ticket you can add to CMDB group, right? All of these actions are available. You can look at all the notification options, create a ticket. You can enrich data, manage CMDB assets. We can update VA, VA scanner coverage for those that are not being scanned. We can deploy files and run commands. We can use endpoint security agents to perform actions, manage users and groups and so on. You can see this right here within the Exonius Enforcement Center. So if you're not an Exonius customer, what can you do? We do offer free 30-day trials right from the website. So you can just go to exonius.com and start a free trial, or you can book a demo today and our team will be working with customers throughout this week and, and probably longer to help them understand where their assets are impacted to identify and address them. So go to exonius.com, book a demo, start a trial. If you're an Exonius customer, 
we'll be reaching out to you to be able to show you how to um, use this now available dashboard. Thanks.